We're going to start the Fusion 2, is the extension of Fusion 1. The, uh, in the Tao system, we divide the practice into formula. The way we can do it because of many years of practice. And in, and in WOW, a few million people, or many million people, in the system. And eventually, evolve it into a system, step by step, formula by formula. In the Taoism, it's one of the most earlier form of actually combining the, uh, the esoteric with the physical. So we say, if we're going to say more understandable, it's combining the mind, the body, and the spirit in an actually practical way, practical way, way to do the work. I can explain to you is in a way of phenomenon, okay? I said, if you sit and pray to God, or if you sit and pray to Buddha, and one day when Buddha come to you, you're going to feel the whole body hot, and your whole body is going to stir up, and you're going to go out, okay? We can explain that way. We said, we give all credit to the God. In the Taoism, we also say all that, but we, we separate them first. We separate about physical. You have a physical, a physical like a battery. Okay. If the battery is fully charged and can be take charge, it's going to work. All right? If the battery is dead and cannot charge any more energy, no matter how, much, how big the charger you are, the battery is not going to work. That's all. Now, in a thousand, they said, you like a charger, you like a channel. Okay. But you need to get yourself in a working away, in the best chart away, and you can recharging also. If you cannot recharging, it's no use. No matter how powerful the God are, it cannot charge you. It cannot use you. So in a thousand, they said, practice, you need to practice. You need to training. You need to get yourself ready. And the timing is very long at least 18 to 25 years of practicing. And that's what happened to all the great master. Okay? Like Jesus at least take 18 years to prepare himself. Moses take eight, uh, 80 years, 40 years in Egypt, training to be all the magicians. 40 years in the wilderness, training to be a patient. That's a patient and patient. And 40 years work with God is still not very good yet. <laughs> so 120 years of preparations. No. And Buddha take 10 lives to accomplish something. But now we come into a point that with the, all the experience that we have, we can cut short the time, but still you need to practice. There's no such thing in the world that you don't practice and you get it. The one thing I discover in a hard way. One thing we we learn the microcosmic in the cycle. And now we're going to, and we learn the fusion one. The fusion one is all the basic of everything. In a Taoism, the way we teach fusions is we have sitting meditation, sitting down. Sitting meditation is so much, we, we divide to many levels. And we have standing meditation, the Iron Church. And we have walking meditation, is the Tai Chi. All of this in the Taoism is try to give you a uh, experience, okay? And if you do enough, if you do enough experience, you can copy the experience any moment in your life. And that is 
the higher the highest secret of the thousand when you see meditation anytime and you feel the experience of energy flow warm night calm peace so anytime in the day you can copy the experience that you want it that is the time you started the success so in a in a thousand they said pao yi that mean concentrate into one or in a buddhism we call awareness constantly awareness it's constantly aware the energy in your navel concentrate in a ball concentrate in the energy in uh, it not just you sit down 15 minutes and practice and that's all and you, you forgot it the whole thing of the whole thing that you practice now try to make it and become part of your life any moment for example for me any moment if i don't talk or anything i just aware myself that's all i already practice and i don't need to set up a time to practice it all i do i just aware one minute or one ten second i feel warm i feel the energy there i feel a ball i feel concentrated i feel one piece in myself anytime in, the, in, in my whole day that's all and the standing meditation because all the thing we do now is have to put it into the physical and spiritual combined together and the thousand is one of the most explainable in the esoteric because we start with organs and going through all the other things which can be cannot see they're like a ball of energy a pearl of energy an energy body you cannot see them but it's there and that is the whole important part and when you when you go to the study to do the tai chi when you do the tai chi you feel movement you feel energy you feel concentrate concentration you feel the energy low and that is the most important part that you apply into your whole daily life you feel the energy with you you walk you sit you standing you talk to the people you feel constantly in touch with the energy and it's not just you have to sit down or you have to do tai chi in 10 minutes and you feel the energy and after that you don't feel it anymore and the whole day so 24 hours you sit 10 minutes it's not going to overcome the way we lose energy we cannot but constantly feel the energy with you constantly feel the en it's always in a level that is where we started we use we spend so much time you know from the microcosmic from the fusion one from the fusion two from the fusion three from the lesser currently everything is in the navel until that moment when you get that you start to kind of move the energy higher you move the center of energy higher and higher 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 so very different it with some of the system they start you right in the top here some people is okay okay but most general people are going to get very specific because you put too high here it's that you put all the weight on the top and you don't put anything on the bottom it's in a thousand we don't put all the thing in the top first we put everything in the bottom and we build up like a building exactly like a building like empire building in the olden time they figured out they have to build the base very strong and now right now we figured out that we can get very deep get a concrete get a iron pole all hit to the ground make a very strong base and we build up so the Taoism, we have one of the most strong uh, uh, foundations in all the spiritual practice. So we don't teach you right away into our, our space. We don't teach you right away into giving love to other people. We don't teach you right away to just kind people, to love people. No. The major part in the Taoism says if you know how to love yourself, you know how to love other people. If you try to love other people which you don't have a love in yourself, how are you going to know what is love? How are you going to experience that? You don't have even love yourself. Love yourself is the most important part. So in a thousand, we start with inner smile and we start with into the organs. We cannot ignore organs, which if I don't explain about the organs and how the organ work, I can explain into the God. Easier, that right? Do this, God says so. Practice it and do the mantras uh, 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 one million times and you're going to get it. God's going to come to you. Simple. All right? Your mind is so concentrated, the energy pours to you. Happen. Something happen. Whatever, whatever you're going to happen, you let it go. And it's going to happen. As I said, 
all the system in the whole world coming to the same point. Okay? You can do that way, this way, this way, you come to the same point. Or you can do this way also, you come to the same point. So, let, um, let turn to page one. Fusion two is an extension of fusion one, but the quality of energy worked with is quite different. Fusion two is very important to the way we feel and the way we differentiate two kinds of energy, positive emotional energy or virtue energy and negative emotional energy or negative emotions. These two kinds of energy are very different in the way you perceive them and the way they affect you. After clearing out the negative emotions in the practice of fusion one, you will circulate the neutralized energy in what is called the creation cycle of fusion two. During this meditation, you learn how to cultivate the good virtues of gentleness, kindness, honor, and respect, fairness, and openness, courage, righteousness, and justice, and compassion. These virtues originate from and are grown within the organs and glands of the physical body. The development of these virtues improves overall health and creates the certain kind of energy that is referred to as the soul body or energy body. The virtue energy that forms the energy body, in turn, becomes the nourishment or fuel of yet another body, the spiritual body. During the process of fusion two, more channels are opened, and the energy is permitted a freer flow throughout the body. These channels are called the three thrusting channels, or thrusting roots, and the belt channels, or belt roots. The purpose in creating the soul or energy body is to provide the energy required to boost the spirit body out of the physical body into another plane, referred to as the mid-plane. Open channels are necessary for this stage of the practice. The energy body can be thought of as a booster rocket, while the spirit body can be the shuttle. Throughout the open channels, the spirit body is boosted to the mid-plane. Here the spirit body collects a higher quality of energy and returns with it to the body. The higher quality energy is used to construct a stronger, more intense energy body so that in the next effort, the spirit body will be boosted to a higher mid-plane level. The cycle continues bringing the spirit body to higher and higher levels while increasing the life force energy for use by the physical, soul, and spirit bodies. The, the whole practice of a Christian is all based on this, on a growing a good virtue and a compassion. And the way that they do, uh, like you give money, you donate your time, you <laughs> give your energy, your time, your money to give to service the people. And that in the reverse, you are practicing the virtue and the compassion. And that is, and automatically you have that. Okay. With what we do now, we condense the energy into a pearl. And the pearl is the essence of your senses, the essence of your organs, the essence of your glands, but in a different form of energy. The different form of energy is coming out into the way of pure good energy, gentle kindness like, like love, or we call it pure consciousness, and this is what happened. Now, with that power and energy, we can utilize that power and energy to help us opening channels. So we use the pearl to help us opening the channel. And the next channel that we are, all, we are doing now is the trusting channels. The trusting channels is a very powerful um, channel which used in every system all the great tradition system. And uh, they have different names from them. Okay. In the Taoism, we call our trusting channels. So go up and down. And all we call our dialect channeling channels. So the name is very powerful. Once you properly open, you can directly channel the energy right through. And but because of the power also creating a big problem for many, many people all through the history. That means some people ignore the word 
that powerful channel or directly channeling. So it happened to the channel the energy directly too much and they don't have a backup system or they call we call don't have a safety system. The world technology come to this moment because we have safety system and we can't have it to this level. If we don't have a safety system, it, we don't have it up to now, the technology. So all the great people that are de uh, develop anything, the first thing they do, they make sure the safety system first. In the Tao system, we are so important about the safety. That's why we are so emphasized in doing microcosmic, in doing iron church, in concentrate in a narrow area, in constantly aware of the energy. The major part of practice is constantly practice and aware awareness. And when you do any practice, it's just like you are programming yourself. Every time you program, little bit by bit and you you store in a memory and all you have to do is record a memory and that's what we are doing here okay. and um, you just have to understand the process like uh, there are so many different kind of meditation that what you use, what you are doing now we are using nearly every kind of the meditation we're doing here the first kind we do is called channeling. Channeling, opening the channels and concentrate on the points, opening the channels. And that is we call a more deep in, uh, inner and concentration of energy. And the next thing we have a counting, counting the breath, which the Buddhism use a lot, called breath consciousness. So you just Inhale, count your breath, exhale, inhale, there's another one, to make yourself more concentrate, concentrate. When you concentrate enough, you get energy. Another one is a mantra way or counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In this one, you divide to many. You can count bits. You get a bit and you count one, two, three, four. So you have a mind concentration and a touch. See? So, if you lose, because it's a row, so you can keep on whole day and whole night, you know, because it's a row one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and keep on counting. And you keep on counting, you can keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, without going on. But when your mind is so concentrated, the energy comes. Like in the Taoism, we also sometimes we use meditate on the, uh, on the Pakwa, or meditate in the, uh, in the hexagram, 64, 64 hexagram. So you memorize the hexagram and you put your mind and you memorize all the hexagram. So put your mind in a hexagram. And some of them meditation into the um, our body. They go out. They imagine they go to a place. So their mind is so wandering around, they're so good, so nice, you feel so present. You 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 can put your mind wondering you're going to a a land have a water, have waterfall, have beautiful flower, have beautiful lawn, have beautiful smell. And you just sit there and just think of that place and creating that place in the mind. And that way, it makes you feel good. And that is another kind of meditation. And, um, and uh, in Taoism, sometimes we use this also. You're going to see all the Taoism have everything but built in a set, everything. Like some of them, they, uh, 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 like Thing or Master, they try to tell you to creating an image of the eight immortals, or Lao Tzu, or Zhuang Tzu, or any god that you, you think so. And, um, and you try to have a picture, look at it, and imagine it. It's the same thing as like Guru, or Swami, he tell you to, to hang a thing on here. So you hang it, when you do meditation, you take out and look at it, you think of the master, your mind more concentrate, and you try to Im amplify or try to copy his image, try to copy his quality, and you have that quality. Okay. On all these things leading into the same thing what we do here. Get energy, get electricity, get more 
what, what we in the Taoism or another time we call get energy. But the actual thing is uh, electricity. Everything in the world is the everything in the universe is certain type of electricity. Okay, when the thunder, we know where it creates. The thunder is a very high wall energy. A lightning is a very high wall electricity. The same. The earth have the earth energy. The universal have a universal energy. The sun have a sun energy. So the few of the energy electricity flow to us. The uh, and, uh, the whole universe. What we are doing here now, we are trying to absorb the energy or electricity in order to apply into our system and to make use of it. Instead of living into 360 days, 365 days to absorb the cosmic energy, when you do this thing, you speed up. It depends on how much you practice. You can speed up to half the time, twice as much, or three times as much. So you don't have to live up to 365 days to absorb the cosmic energy. And that is a very important part to understand. Okay. And um, when we do the fusion, we use so many inside it. We use the physical, the sound, the image, the color, and the inner, the organs, and all is in one. Okay. Like somebody tried to listen to the inner voice inside it. Somebody try to listen to the universal voice. So voice alone, there are so many systems. Yeah. But what is the real purpose you do? What the real purpose you want? Are you really want energy? And all these things you're doing, you can do everything, you can count everything, you can imagine everything, you still you're going to get energy. That's true. No? At first, the first thing you have to is make up your mind what you want first. And the people, they don't know what they want, they don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> it's a major part. So in the inner mind, the more quicker you do, the more practical better you are, the more you're changing yourself. We call alchemy the most simple way and the quicker way to change your alchemy. It's the inner mind. And the next most sophisticated of inner alchemy changes is the fusion one. You actually, you physically draw the energy from the organs, you put it into the collection point, you draw the energy of the senses, the eye, ear, no mouth, into the collection point, you actually, you physically draw the emotional out and put it in collection point, and you started to blend them, that is the alchemy. The energy of the organs, the energy of the glands, the energy of the emotional, the energy of the senses is the energy. When you get blind, you have the 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 the, uh, the mechanic or the energy of the the eye is gone. You have you cannot see. It's just like everything is energy. Later, on, when when you do the fusion one, you send the body out. There is a frequency of energy of senses control them. That's exactly what that happened. You see. Now what you do, you are going into a more sophisticated of inner alchemy. But you're setting them, combining them into a very set pattern which can be used. So you draw the energy and you combine them, balance them, and you have a new kind of chemistry. You have a new kind of energy. And that is what happened. And when you feel, when you finish the front pakwa, back pakwa, left and right pakwa, you condense them together, you have a pearl. The pearl is the essence of your body. The pearl is the essence of your heart, the essence of your lung, your liver, your spleen, your stomach, your, your small and large intestine, your thymus gland, everything. You take the essence of everything, become condense them into a pearl. And the pearl is your whole essence, is your consciousness, is you. 